I'm going to be showing you how to get all the collectibles in the final level of Masters of the Universe, Scare Mayor within Funko Fusion. Let's get started. Okay, so for this one, we're going to begin with the red weapon proto part. And for me, the glowing red enemies spawned pretty early on. So we're going to head out here into the main section of the level. And so I went ahead and transformed into He-Man. And right after I destroyed the gold vinyl object, the first one, this is when he spawned. I'm not sure if that's always the case. But uh, I took it out, and there is the red glowing enemy, so we're going to quickly take him out. So he definitely seems to spawn, you know, early on in this level, not after you're already fighting the boss. And so we can pick that up and deposit it into the red mold machine. Now we're going to go for the fossil or amber piece, so right at the start of this level, if you just make your way out the first door and make a left, there is the fossil piece for this level. Now for silver crown at number one, we have to go around the level and destroy five of these plants. So number one out of five is going to be... Right there to the left, just outside of the spawn. Over here behind this brown chest is going to be number 2 out of 5 in that back corner. Behind this big tree trunk is going to be at number 3 out of 5. Number 4 out of 5 is going to be over here near the pop box in the vinyl chute. That's 4 out of 5. And then number 5 out of 5 is the trickiest one to get to. And so for this, we're going to have to switch over to number 5 from the Umbrella Academy. Because as you head up here to this bridge, there's going to be a teleportation spot on the ground there for number 5, the yellow arrow. And so we're going to teleport into this room. And once we get into this room, we're going to have to use some portals to get up there. But we're going to destroy this box. It's going to be a blue mold machine. So we're going to mold ourselves a portal because we're going to need this to get to the silver chest after we destroy the last plant. And so we're going to put the portal down, link it up with the portal up there. Once you get up here to this ledge, we can pull on this little switch. It's going to lower down the bridge so we can get back to the main area of the level. And uh, over here in this room, across from the blue mold machine, is going to be the final plant. So once we've destroyed that, we can now use that portal that we placed earlier to get up onto this ledge. And we can finally open up this silver chest and grab the first silver crown for this level. Now, while we're up here, we can go ahead and grab the KFC bucket. So just to the left of this chest is the KFC bucket for this level. Now for silver crown at number two. This is probably the hardest one of this level, I'd say. And so what we need to do is grab this red crystal that's going to be on the ground here and put it into place right here. And yeah, there's going to be three targets that we need to shoot with a laser gun. So you can either use the revolver weapon from the red mold machine, or I highly recommend using Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica because he's got a full auto little pistol here that he uses. And so you can step on those different pressure pads to lower or raise the uh, red crystal to shoot these different targets. But basically, on the higher up level, there's going to be two targets that you need to shoot. So that was the first one. Then the second one is going to be over here. I'm showing you guys the exact angle that I shot it from to get this to work, but it can take a while to do it. So that's the first two targets that we charged up. And then the last one, we're going to have to lower it down by using this pressure pad. And the final target is going to be over here next to the doorway. So this is the exact angle that I shot it from to get it to work. This one I found to be the easiest. The other two took a little bit longer. But once you do all three of those, you'll be able to open up this silver chest and grab silver crown at number two. Next up is silver crown at number three. So if you head into this back room, the one with the blue mold machine, you're going to try to open up the chest and it's going to be engulfed in purple flames with a bunch of enemies from all the different universes attacking us. So we're going to quickly take care of all of them. And once we do that, the purple flames will go away. You'll be able to open up the chest and grab silver crown number three. Silver crown number four is the easiest one of the level. So if we just head back as we're heading towards the main area of the level where the boss fight is, there's going to be a silver chest right here on the bridge. Just open it up, no strings attached, for silver crown number four. Now for the Foxo body part, it's going to be on one of these arches on the bridge. And to get up there, we need to mold ourselves a bounce pad. So we're going to head over here to the blue mold machine, mold the bounce pad, which you just, you know, unlock during the tutorial of the game. And with the bounce pad, we can head over here to those arches on the bridge, place it down, jump on the bounce pad, hop up there, and grab the Foxo body part. Now for the green soda proto part, for this one we need to melt down some ice. There's the ice. So we're going to head over here to the blue mold machine and mold a gas canister. You could also use a flamethrower character like Childs from The Thing. But we're going to use the gas canister, we're going to place it down, we're going to cause it to blow up. It's going to quickly melt down the ice giving us access to a green chest that we can open up, grab the green soda proto part, and deposit it into the green mold machine, which is right next to it. Now, silver crown number five is going to be the one where you have to pull four switches within a short time frame. And this one's pretty easy. Just start off here by jumping up this uh, little green stairway. There's going to be a switch on the top of there. The next switch is going to be behind this cage, which you'll have to destroy. 
So that's number two. Number three is going to be right there, and then number four is going to be right there. Once you pull all four of those switches, the silver chest will open up. You can grab silver crown number five. All right, next up is silver crown number six, which is also going to be pretty easy, assuming you've unlocked Freddy Funko. So we're going to head over here and switch over to Freddy Funko. If you don't have him unlocked, you're going to have to play through the 35 main levels of the game and get 35 gold crowns. And once we do that, we're going to have Freddy Funko. We can go over here and use his little uh, rainbow gun to destroy this green rainbow looking door. And once you do that, behind it is going to be a silver chest, which we can open up and grab silver crown number six. And last but not least, we have silver crown number seven, which is the vinyl shoot, which requires a whopping 80,000 vinyl. So you can either kind of grind the boss fight to get 80,000, or you can use Eddie Funko if you have him unlocked, if you've beaten the final boss of the game. Because Eddie Funko, when you destroy vinyl objects, he gives you way more vinyl for those. And once you've amassed 80,000, you can deposit it into the machine and get silver crown number seven. So guys, that's going to be all the collectibles here in the Scare Mara level. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. See you guys next time here on Quick Burt Games.